Hi guys, this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Bullet Central stainless steel short throw cock and lever, the Impact M3. Let's get started. All right, you need to uh, remove your lever kit from the Ziploc. I'll show you what do you got. Got the lever and two pins. Now, we want to remove the old cocking lever. To do this, you need one and a half Allen and remove this set screw on top of the pins. Really short. Now you're gonna need a smaller Allen then this one and a half to push the pin from underneath out. Use this, uh, I think it's 1.3 or something like that. Pin. Pin. Use your lever. Now, this lever has a adjustment screw here and you can't back it out to double jam it. What we need to do is put a Loctite on it. We want to screw this screw far as it goes out to expose a lot of threads here. I think it's about five. We're gonna put a uh, low hardness Loctite. I use a pink one. Put a little bit on the threads You can use blue, but very little of it. Just to cover a little bit. Now you want to cycle this uh, screw in and out to spread the Loctite. Now push all the way forward and back it out till you see about two threads right here. Now we're gonna install the OEM lever handle. Grab your new pin, old pin if it's still good. Trick it here. Must be that old pin. You get the new pin. And this pin, one is uh, chamfered a little bit, it's smooth. Now put the set screw in. Now we're going to adjust the uh, locking on this to adjust the uh, gap here. You don't want to go all the way full stroke and go back too much, right? To get the lever out and minimize the, the cocking block from falling back, is screw the this adjustment screw in. Do you see the lever start opening? All right. And you want to look at this gap here. You want a little bit a fallback you can minimize it but you gotta feel how easy it is or accidentally hit it All right if you're speed shooting you want to lock in place tightly without bouncing like that 
I don't know how you would. The way I do it, when I close it, I always hold this lever forward when I close the bolt. Never slam your handle like this. And even OEM, you slam it, it's still gonna bounce back. What you, on this lever here, you want this sl slightly aligned cock, cock like this. So when you shoot, the pressure from the pellet probe will pull this block back. So you want an angle so it would lock in place, not, not pop out. So be careful not to have it out too much. It won't lock in place, so just blow like that. All right? When you got it set, and let me, I like it a little, minimize it. There you go. That's how you install your bullet central short throw cocking lever. All right, if you have any question, drop me a line. Yeah, we'll catch you next one.